Have you seen this new trend where you could take a little bit of gel polish and blend it with your monomer? Then create an acrylic bead. Seems like a great idea. I mean, come on, it extends the color palette, creating so many new acrylic colors we don't have to buy. I love it. I wanted to ask an expert, a chemist expert, Jim McConnell, to see if there's any repercussions in doing this great technique. Let's get started. One of my favorite brands is Light Elegance, co-founded by Jim McConnell. 23 years in the industry, he knows his stuff. With a Bachelor of Arts in Chemistry, he's qualified to answer this question. I think this is actually a really cool idea. I'm hoping that we are. this is okay to do. Let's ask the expert, Jim McConnell from Light Elegance. Welcome. Hi, nice to be here. Nice to see you again, Jim. So the question is, and I'm hoping that you do it in my favor of me wanting this to happen, but can you mix a couple of drops of my favorite gel color into my monomer and then create a bead with powder and a whole new color? Because I've got a lot of gel polishes and I don't have to go buy all the powder. If I was able to mix it, I could make some beautiful new colors that I don't have to go buy. It saves me a lot of money. I think it's a brilliant idea. I've seen it on social media. Can I mix my gel with my monomer? It's a brilliant idea. No, really? No, it's still it's still a brilliant idea. Oh, but you really, it's going to disappoint you. Oh. You really shouldn't. Really. And the reason why is yeah, because you have a lot of when you make a gel product. Some of those gel products contain monomers that are suitable for being used with acrylics. But some gel products contain resins, oligomers, that are not suitable to be used with acrylic products. And so the oligomers, when they get exposed, when you have an acrylic system, you have the liquid component and the powder component. The liquid component dissolves the, the polymer mm -hmm. that's in the powder side and starts the reaction with mm -hmm. the peroxide that's in the powder. Right. And that's how it sets up. Mm -hmm. So in gels, we use oligomers and monomers with photo initiators that are then cured with the light. Right. Right. But those right. oligomers won't cure very well or very quickly or at all with the peroxide in the powder. So once again, in layman's terms, you just don't get a complete cure. There's no guarantee. What about what about there's no guarantee if I do it cure. and then I put it under after the acrylic has hardened, can I put it under the light to nuke the gel? You can. And that light will penetrate into part of mm. the gel liquid powder system. But it won't penetrate all the way through. That's the ticket. Because you created an opaque system there. Yeah. And yeah. the opacity will prohibit the curing of anything underneath what you can see. So it wouldn't make any difference if I used a clear powder when I mixed the, the gel into my monomer, then I used a clear powder. That wouldn't make any difference, would it? No. No. Unfortunately, but no. It's a brilliant idea so, to stretch. I kind It of, really is. Yeah, I felt that's what you were going to say because they just don't usually blend together and they cure so differently. But um, unfortunately, I knew that was going to be the answer. I was just really hoping that we could because it really does stretch the color palette that we could offer our clients or do in ourselves. Bummer. It does. It does. But what you'll wind up doing is if you add oligomers to an acrylic system, those oligomers will help make that acrylic system a lot more pliable. Right. You won't have the same hardness. You won't have the same right. performance. So it compromises the acrylic. It does compromise the acrylic. And then you also extend out to the uncured oligomer or even uncured monomer that might be in that system as well, causing even further issues. Right. Which again, if you don't use it properly, it's going to lead to service breakdown. And again, we get to allergies, right? Allergies. Yeah, that's in the this topic. case. Allergies would be my biggest concern. Right, that would be the top of the. Hmm. I, I see a you know a wide selection of different products that are in front of you. I love all these products. Not all the chemistry in those products is going to be the same. 
And so say with some of these, you might have an acrylic powder that's been dissolved in the monomers, the reactive monomers that are gel monomers that can be added in very small concentrations to acrylic. So you may have some of the same components, but now you are adding more of one component, maybe an acrylic monomer, that the formulator of that acrylic system would never put that level in. So I guess the bottom line really is, you're not supposed to break acrylic systems with liquid and powder, and then we're throwing a completely different system into the one system and even messing it up even more, right? Correct, correct. Bummer. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, it, it's really unfortunate. It is unfortunate, but that's just the way it is. And that's just the rules we'll have to go by if we don't want to increase the service breakdown. And like you say, more importantly, allergies. It's a beautiful look, but you still can get it if you just buy the acrylic that's already made to match the system that you're using, right? Right. And let's say you take your dampen dish and you have put your acrylic monomer in there and maybe you put in a half ounce of acrylic monomer. Then you add, say, two drops of a red and you mix that in. Maybe two drops looks good, but maybe you go 10 drops mm -hmm. next time because it makes it look even better. Right. And that's what we do. We keep pushing that, don't we? People are going to try. And yes. at, at, at what point do you take something that is marginally safe yeah. and push it way over the edge? Yeah. Yeah. And then it goes on social media and then people say, well, so-and-so did 10 drops. I'm going to go 15. Yeah. You're and right. it just becomes... We keep pushing it and pushing it until it just we just push it over the edge. edge and that's and now... And people kind of go, I don't know why all my clients have now now have allergic allergies. You know, yep. You're have right. Outbreaks, and they're okay. losing fingernails. And okay. Well, we won't do it. Anybody watching? I know it's a cool look. But Sorry. Don't do it. It's just going to bite you in the butt in the long run. It could just bite you really hard. Yeah. Okay, great yeah. advice. Thanks again, Jim from Light Elegance. Thanks a no, lot. Pleasure. We'll see you My soon. Pleasure. Bye. Well, it's great to have an expert opinion, especially a chemist. But darn, I was so hoping that would work. In my heart, I knew chemically it probably wouldn't, but I was hoping that a chemist would tell us that it does. But it doesn't. We'll just have to do it the right way and purchase the acrylic that is chemically formulated for those beautiful colors. Thanks for joining me. Catch you in the next video.